Hello and welcome into my attic. So this DIY is so simple, I only paid 50 cents for this pretty little jug, but I thought I'd like to decorate it further. So I just took some gummy clay, which is very easy to use. It's light and fluffy and completely dry the next day and ready to paint, which is a good thing. Uh, as it dries, it shrinks and tightens up, which is what makes it become hard. Um, and it loses that, you know, that foamy feeling. I used a flowery mould and I stuck on the casts with wood glue. So to paint the jug, I chose a green acrylic paint because I really like this colour. Although the paint itself is pretty, you know, one euro paint. <laughs> you can imagine it's not very efficient. So I added some wood glue and some cornstarch, which makes it very efficient. This combination uh, in my paint um, really adheres well to ceramic and to glass and obviously to wood as well but you know to ceramic and glass it ad adheres really really well so if you have an acrylic paint that you love the color and you know it's a bit it's not very hardy or anything like that um, what you can do is add wood glue and cornstarch to the paint and it will make it really tough and resistant also, the cornstarch makes it very matte, like chalk paint. The more coats that you do, obviously, the, the tougher the paint will be. Um, for this project, I just needed the one coat. When I was finished, I dried it off with the hairdryer, which literally takes a couple of minutes. So last of all, I skimmed over the flowers using some white acrylic paint, just dry brushing over them just to make them stand out a little bit more. And that's it. This little jug is finished. Just to cut in guys, if ceramics are your thing, then you must watch my next video. I'll be showing you how to upgrade your thrifted and outdated granny ceramics, making them look like new and giving them a really fresh new facelift. So, hope to see you there. So for my second DIY, I'm going to decorate this old box I have where I keep all my old junk, like staples, elastic bands, paper clips, all that kind of stuff. And I've had it for years. I've always wanted to decorate it, but I never have until today. So I dismantled the rope handles and gave it a really good clean with the window cleaner. Um, and it came up really nice and clean because it was absolutely filthy. I usually just dust this box because it's made of cardboard and I don't want to put water on it so or detergents so I just dust it and obviously that's maybe not enough. Okay moving on, important that it's clean now. So I had dark brown acrylic paint and I added some cornstarch to it and some wood glue just a bit, um, just enough to make it a little bit thicker because although I want it spreadable, I still want it to be a little dense so that I can see the brush marks. I want to see the brush marks because I want to do a kind of a crisscross pattern on the lid so that it will seem like um, a kind of an old texture. 
Yeah, an old texture or an old textured uh, leather. Something, you know, like an old suitcase or something like that. The paper cover in this box is pretty slippery. It's kind of plastic, but it's not plastic. It's just a slippery paper, shiny paper. So maybe I would have been better off scuffing it up with sandpaper or putting a primer down, but I didn't do that. I just went straight in with the paint. Um, my paint isn't a very good uh, quality paint. Um, it's much better when I add the glue and the cornstarch. Uh, so I had to do three coats of this paint um, for my base colour. Um, I could have even done more because it was still a bit patchy, but I like to have a patchy look when I'm doing old things. So, you know, this came out perfectly in the end. If you have a good quality paint, then just one or two coats will probably be enough if you want to do something like this. So for my second colour, I made a pale terracotta paint. Um, I added water to it um, because unlike the brown paint, um, I don't want this to have brush marks or anything like that. I want this um, a consistency that I can, you know, dab it easily around the box, letting the brown paint peek through. So I first brushed it on and then I dabbed it all over, um, trying to leave some dark shadows where dark shadows would normally form around the edges mainly. I continued on like this, then I dried it off with the hairdryer, then I did some more and I just played about with it like this until I was satisfied with the look. And the look I was trying to get was a kind of a leather look in the end I think I did get that. Once the box was completely dry, I took an old plastic belt actually, it's not leather, it's just plastic, and I hot glued it all the way around the lid. It was a little bit too long, so I just cut it. So 
So now the box is all finished, I'm just gonna put some clear wax all over, um, then buff it with a paper towel, and then I'm also going to put some brown antiquing wax onto the belt to darken it up a bit, you know, make it look a little bit more older, less new. And oh my god did it come out great it really does look like an old leather case um, I didn't go overboard with the decoration I just wanted to keep it simple um, you know you could go on forever and ever with decoration I know that but you know sometimes less is more um, I don't know this reminds me of like an old soldier's little case where he, he kept his brushes and things like that it's I think it's fantastic I love it So for DIY number three, I'm going to paint over this Moroccan style dish. So this lovely stainless steel dish was a real steel actually, because it cost me just one euro at the thrift market. So I used a rust colored paint and to make it more effective, um, I added bicarbonate soda to make it gritty just like rust is and a little bit of wood glue as well to keep everything together. So with a paintbrush I went over the whole dish with my rusty coloured paint uh, I dabbed with the pom-pom but then I changed to the brush because the pom-pom got so uh, caked up with the bicarbonate soda that it seemed to stop working so I just carried on with the brush. After the first coat of paint, I dried it all off with the hairdryer, uh, which was very quick and easy because the stainless steel become hot um, and it just dried really quickly. And then I went over it again in the same way with a second coat. So this rusty look looks really gorgeous, I think. And I was really hard pressed to decide whether I wanted to keep it like this or to carry on and put another color on top. In the end, I decided I wanted a creamy colored enamel effect. So I continued. So before adding my second colored paint, um, I needed to put a sealer down um, because I didn't want the two uh, col paint colours intermingling in together. So um, I made my own sealer for this. I just used my wood glue and cornstarch which makes a really good matte sealer. So I applied that all over. So once I'd put the sealer on I left everything to dry really well till the next day. So I took my cream coloured paint and added some cornstarch and wood glue like I normally do just to make it a little bit more resistant. So as I applied the paint, I took a wet wipe and I wiped over the paint uh, because I want my rusty, gritty spots to show through the cream coloured paint.
So after the first coat, it looked a bit patchy, so I did a second coat in the same way. And that's it guys, my enameled look, Moroccan style dish. Thank you for watching please like please subscribe but most of all don't forget to watch the next video where i show you how to really upgrade your granny ceramics that you buy from the thrift store upgrade like new so see you there bye